Speaker Ryan's traveled thousands of miles crisscrossing the country campaigning, trying to retain a Republican majority in the House. Meanwhile, his differences with Donald Trump continue to divide voters. And tonight, political analysts say his job as Speaker will be in jeopardy if Democrats win back enough Republican-held seats. What do you think about that talk, and is it your goal to remain speaker? Yeah, it's my plan to stay as speaker because I, there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, I take it this is sort of inside the beltway banter. I don't really take it very seriously. What is it about the speaker here that you're going to support, and why do you see him as being a good speaker? Well, I know Speaker Ryan has character. <clears throat> I see it. It also brings a vision. As Speaker Paul Ryan rallies votes for Don Bacon, Bacon says Ryan will get his vote for speaker, despite the opinion of some Trump supporters. Anti-establishment has been a pretty strong branding point that a lot of candidates have used, and some people continue consider you to be the epitome of establishment. How do you overcome that, and, and what are your talking points to counteract that? Yeah, well, I became speaker a year ago yesterday, uh, and so I think people see establishment because they see divided, broken government with Obama as president and Republicans in Congress. We need to win the whole thing so that we can actually get our ideas into law. Congressional campaigns historically look to the party's presidential nominee for momentum. With Trump's brand not always aligning with the GOP, Speaker Ryan's focused on maintaining his party's majority in the House. If you get beneath um, the personality contest, there's a big ideas contest in America. Do we believe in our Constitution? Do we want to fix our national security? Do we want Washington micromanaging our communities and our society and our economy, or do we want to do it right here at home? If Donald Trump becomes president, do you see your vision and his vision aligning in a way to get things done? Yes, I've done? spoken with him a number of times, and he does support our agenda. So I do know that we have common cause on the big, critical, foundational issues of the day. Bacon's opponent, Brad Ashford, sent out a news release this afternoon saying he invited the speaker to meet with him during his visit to Omaha. Ashford said it's unfortunate they couldn't meet to discuss local issues. We'll take you to the presidential campaign trail later this hour. Back to you. All right.